guys welcome back to another episode of android application development tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to display a notification in an android application so notifications are very important android ui components so the notifications are probably appear at the top of the screen there is a notification area and the notification appear with an icon and when you when you swipe down there is a notification drawer here you can see the details of the notification so now there is no notifications are available in this android virtual device so the notification area and the notification drawer is fully controlled by the android operating system and the user can view the notification at any time using a pending indent so as an introduction to notification here in this episode I am going to show you how to create a simple notification in Android so for that I create a project in Android studio and here I am going to display the notification when user click a button so here I add a button to the activity main.xml file so go to the XML version of that file and here I change the text of the button into show notification okay and here I'm going to add an on click method for the button Android Android on click show notification okay now we have to define this method in main activity.java file so go to main activity.java file here I'm going to define that method so public void method name is show notification okay so here we need an object of view class so create an object of view here okay so when you display a notification you need some components like you need an icon for the notification second you need a title for the notification and you need some content text for the notification these are the essential components of a notification and all other settings and actions of the notifications are optional but you have to use at least one action with the notification so here we are going to use one action so when user click the notification we have to display we have to invoke another activity using notification so that is the okay now here we have to create a new activity so whenever user click the notification we have to invoke the new activity so we have to create a new activity so expand the java folder and right click the package and create a new java class so here I am going to name the class as second class second class click ok now here we got the new class so now we have to create the layout for the class so right click the right click the layout folder and choose the XML and select layout XML file ok now here you have to you need to specify a layout name I name it as second layout ok and click finish now here we got a new layout so here I am going to add a large text into this new layout we have to change the content of the text I change it into welcome to second activity welcome to second activity okay so now we have to connect the newly created class and the new layout so open the newly created class here you have to extends activity okay now here you have to override the on create method and now we have to connect the layout and with this class using set content view 
so use the set content view or dot layout dot our layout file name is second layout okay so now we create a new activity in this application so now we have to register the newly created activity with the manifest.xml file so expand the manifest folder and open android manifest.xml so here there is already an activity it is representing the main activity so i copy all this activity tag copy this one and paste it here okay now we have to change the class name android name our class name is second class okay and here is the intent filter I change the intent filter name into something called second filter second filter okay now this is not a launcher activity this is a default activity so choose the Android intent category as default okay now we create a new activity a new layout in our application now we have to create the notification so go to main activity.java file so when user click the button this method will invoke okay now here we have to create the notification so the first step of creating notification you have to create an object of notification we have to create an object of notification combat builder so by using the notification combat builder we can set the set some parameters of the notification like is icon is title is content text etc so the first step we have to create an object of notification combat dot builder so here I'm going to create an object of notification combat dot builder notification combat dot builder I name the object as builder equal to new new builder here you have to pass the context I pass the context as this okay now we create an object of notification combat dot builder so by using this builder object we can set some param parameters we can set some properties of the notification such as the notification icon notification title not notification content text etc okay first we have to set an icon for the notification so we have to search on the drawable folder for the icons yeah here there is already an icon called IC launcher okay this is the icon okay this one is enough if you need another icon we have you have to add that particular icon into, into this drawable folder okay so here I use this default icon IC launcher so first here I'm going to set the icon so builder dot set small icon it is available in r dot drawable dot our icon name is IC launcher okay okay now we have to set the title for this notification so builder dot set set title yeah set content title I name it as my notification okay now we have to set some content text for the notification so if user open the notification drawer you can see the content text on the notification drawer so builder dot set content text the method is content text and you have to specify some content this is my first notification okay so we here we set some icon and here we set some title and also here we put some content text okay now here I am going to create an object of stack builder 
so the main purpose of stack builder is the stack builder object has an artificial back stack mechanism and this will ensure that navigating backward from the from your activity lead your application exit to the home screen that is the purpose of the stack builder object so here I am going to create a stack builder object so task stack builder I name the object as stack builder equal to call the create method and here you have to pass an object of context I pass the object as this okay now you have to add now you have to add the back stack for the intent that is the next purpose okay one more thing before going to add the stack before going to create the stack builder we have to create an object of we have to create uh, an explicit intent for starting the new activity so whenever user click the notification we have to invoke a new activity so we have to create an explicit intent for starting the new activity so here I am going to create an object of intent intent equal to new intent first you have to pass an object of context now you have to specify the class name here our second activity class name is second class so second class dot class okay so now here we create an object of stack builder now you have to add you have to add the back stack for the intent so you have to use the method stack builder dot there is a method called add parent stack this one add parent stack and specify the class name here here the class name is second class dot class okay now you have to add the intent which start the activity to the top of the stack that is the next step so stack builder dot there is a method called add next intent and you have to specify the intent name here the intent name is intent okay so this is little confusing so in this step in the first step we just add the intent we just add the bike stack we just add the bike stack for the intent and in the next step we put the intent to the top of the stack that is the second method and next intent okay and finally we have to create an object of pending intent so create an object of pending intent I name the object as pending intent equal to use the stack builder object stack builder doc there is a method called get pending indent use that method first you have to specify an ID so I put the ID as 0 now you have to specify some some flag so pending indent dot use this flag flag update current okay now we have to add this pending indent into the builder so builder dot there is a method called set content indent use this method and specify the pending indent object okay so now here we create the notification builder object and using the builder object we set some properties like icon title and text and now we create an explicit intent for starting the new activity when user click the notification and for again we create an object of stack builder and now we add the intent to the now we add the batch stack for the intent and now we add the intent to the top of the stack and we create a pending intent using the stack builder object now we have to issue the notification so for issuing the notification you have to create an object of notification manager so here I'm going to create an object of notification manager notification manager 
equal to okay specify an object name and num equal to get system service and specify the service so context not this one context context dot specify the notification service here specify this service notification service okay and you have to cast it into corresponding class cast it into notification manager okay and finally we can issue the notification so here I am going to issue the notification using num dot there is a method called notify here you have to specify the specify an ID and notification object okay I specify the ID as 0 and now specify the notification object so builder dot call the method called build okay now we can check the application there is some mistake is available in this code we have to check it out yeah here some coding errors are here put the semicolon outside now say the project okay now there is no errors are available in this project now we can touch the application so in the simulator now there is no notifications are available here now I am going to run the application so click the run button play button okay now we got the project launched on the emulator now here I click this button now you can see now the notification appear on the notification area so we can see only the icon now the notification available on the notification area so I swipe down here we can see the notification my notification this is my first notification so this is the title and this is the content text so when I click the notification we have to open the second activity so I click the notification this will open the second activity welcome to second activity I hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial